Hey you guys, how's it going? It is Clary Berry and I am here today to bring to you the Divine Masculine Reading. I'm so glad that you guys are here and um, yeah, we're just going to jump right in. Um, this is a general reading. Please, as usual, take what resonates and just what doesn't. We are going to be looking at, again, the Divine Masculine in our relationship, but also the Divine Masculine within ourselves. If we can stay open-minded, that always works out the best. Divine order, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order, okay? Everything happens for a reason. We even can think about that all the time, you know, whether you break it down into an acronym and just have it as a lifestyle under underlying, or you're actually thinking about it, you know, in the moment when things are going wrong is the best time. Really, really is very helpful. Your, your ancestral spirit guides are offering guidance now, so pay close attention to signs and omens from them. Okay, so when we know that everything is connected, you really have this deeper sense of everything is for my highest good because everything supports you. You know, all of the spirit guides, all of your ancestors, all of, you know, any, you can say any beings of love and light, you know. Um, in, in, in Jesus' name, in Yeshua's name, in, in God's name, like whatever you want to, you know, however you want to label this, you know, or not, or leave it, you know, leave it open. Um, being of, you know, be paying attention to those sort of things is very important here. Pay close attention to signs and omens from them. Okay? They're to help you. Help you help yourself. Okay, and we got horse. Okay, I love this. You are free. You are free at any moment, you know, to go within. And this is your nature. You know, this is the wild. The wild, let your hair down. You know, hair is getting tangled because it's blowing in the breeze. Okay. We're just going to jump right in here, okay? This is, this is a loyal, this is a loyal thing too. There's a lot of loyalty coming through. Again, it's like these, even death can't break our ties, you know, and it's, it's not, it's a kind of a very much like a collective, again, family, familial type of vibe here with everything that's going down. Okay. So what is going down? What's going down y'all? Five. Okay. Yeah, so divine. this is a Divine Masculine reading, like we said. So Divine Masculine's definitely, you know, going through, going through things, okay? Possibly put, you know, through the ringer, trying to keep their eye on the prize. You know, I think they do have a very passionate heart and they have a drive here, okay? But uh, they might be working against themselves right now and not really actually getting anywhere, you know, getting very far maybe. Um, and they're not gonna be able to do that until they come into a little bit more of alignment here. Okay, once they come into alignment, once they do a little bit of a law of attraction work, okay, go to the playlist here on YouTube, check out my law of attraction playlist. Also, the holistic law of attraction is really most important, especially for coming into union with your person. And I have that program that has that in there. It's a video program down below. Um, also clarieberry.com so that's gonna once we just kind of this quick little fix here okay we need to just kind of get over this little hump take care of what needs to be taken care of and again we're looking at some positivity here okay things might be leveling out a little bit like like divine masculine might be in the middle of this or you know it's coming or it's a little bit in the past it just kind of depends again on you and how you know how we're relating to this and how it's how I'm picking up on it okay but there's definitely been kind of this back and forth struggle you know again kind of in the middle do we really know we're fight again fighting our own energies but it's kind of led divine masculine to come into kind of maybe this deeper like just to have that understanding first and then to have you know everything into alignment the heart and and the ment and the mental are are actually more in the same place now 
where they weren't before. You know, they, they weren't before and they weren't working together. They were working against each other before and everything was working against each other. And now, you know, we have just straighten. once we straighten this little detail out, we're gonna have some movement. You know, we're gonna have some positivity, some milestone, something positive happening within the relationship. Might be kind of a minor thing, but it's gonna be something that you can, you know, again, kind of spot as a signpost and know that things are working. And so I'm really, really re recommending the holistic law of attraction here. Okay, Let's see what else, what more into kind of like what we're doing now. Okay, yeah, it's like there's a purpose, there's a fulfillment, there's been this understanding, this deeper knowledge of, you know, the emotional side of Divine Masculine, and that's why they're able to start making things happen. So it's like all this waiting that we've possibly been doing, you know, maybe for Divine Masculine, or again, for the Divine Masculine side of our own selves. We might have been stubborn, you know, we might have been unruly not do not just not following through with the things that we know that we want to do you know allowing ourselves to, to to do things that are in our lower self instead of our higher self and now we're like okay we're gonna get it together <laughs> it's kind of how it's kind of how it's coming okay we're working for it we're making it happen we understand that it's spiritual but it's also physical but it's also mental and it's also emotional like there's a good balance here, okay? And there's a really, see it's like clearing and it's kind of going from, you know, uh, like a brown that clears out a little bit, you know, and then you have this spark and this bam and this boom. And then you have these clear, beautiful skies, you know, this clear, smooth sailing almost, you know, with this success in the relationship, okay? There's gonna be a little, it's like if we do, if we play our cards right here, <laughs> no pun intended, you know, we're going to have a little boost here within the next day or so maybe today. And then, you know, you keep on manifesting and you keep on building on these positive intentions. You keep on doing the shadow work, which is also in the program, uh, shadow work playlist as well. You know, you go to the Twin Flames Talks playlist here on YouTube and check this stuff out and just keep that momentum going and keep the focus on not only your yourself but the relationship that you want to have okay and how that can kind of manifest you know just just even allowing it just pondering it and putting that creative love oh well yes it is possible you know really once you think through it that's how you build emotion is when you think through something and you come to a conclusion it becomes a belief now you're emotional about it because you have put something into it. That's what we do. We put it, we put, we're putting stuff into it. <laughs> okay, but we're learning. And I think that Divine Masculine here is really learning. He might have watched the secret or learned something or just remembered or been re inspired. Um, and it's beautiful. So hopefully both sides, you know, are all in that same zone together and getting inspired and clearing out this old energy for sure. Okay. Running free, running wild and not letting anything hold you back. That's the shadow work is, is, is this freedom, you know, it, it will allow you to be like untouchable. Okay. Untouchable. <laughs> in a way, <laughs> don't take that the wrong way. Okay, so I want to keep going here. Just keep it on moving. Again, there there is a, a like a world of difference, a world of change, um, and this has to do with the spiritual work. Okay, the spiritual work that we're doing, being emotionally dedicated to like ourselves and again our person. You can't just be dedicated to your person over yourself. Okay, you can't do that. That's codependency. Okay, you can't do the other side and be selfish either. You have to be, have it balanced and both sides have to have it balanced. And I think we're, you know, we're getting closer. We're doing work. We're manifesting. The more work we can do on the law of attraction right now, the better. Okay. Again, the holistic, I got the playlist. I got the program. Check them out and put this stuff into practice. Don't just learn about it and then stop. Be sure to follow through with the action here. 
spiritual action. This calling, this is calling our names. Okay? We are being called spiritually to step up. It's all connected. Love is all there is. Love shows us the way. Okay? Stay humble. Stay in love. Okay? And again, you don't have to force anything here. You don't have to always be in love with any certain thing. Just always gravitate. Find, allow yourself to gravitate towards love and allow that to be uh, maybe sort of a, a mantra or a visualization that you do every now and again. Okay? So, again, all these blessings, you know, that you can have. You know, bless the ancestors. Have them bless you. Um, angels as well. All of this sort of thing. And getting into this spiritual, all of this spiritual nature, you know, it may be different. It may be different, okay, for a lot of people. It may feel like a breath of fresh air, like we discussed. But now at this point, it's going to start, well, and I don't mean like right now, this is still, again, probably out in the future a little bit here. Um, but there's, there's success here. You know, you can see the spiritual work that we put in helps us create a whole different cycle, whole different um, f like framework, um, kind of a narrative, like whole different narrative for your life. Focus, whatever, all of it. Okay, so pay attention to what your inner side again is kind of gravitating towards and feeling and um, all of these things. Stay open, stay aware, and, and, and follow that bliss too. Um, to wherever it leads you, you know, to, to where it's going to be a message, you know, just follow your heart. Your heart will lead you the right way. Um, and your heart, you know, all of this stuff is connected. Your heart, your mind, what is, you know, what is your mind? Now we know the mind is in the gut. The mind is in, you know, it's not just in, in your actual brain that we think of. Um, the mind gut body connection is very deep and um, holistic, you know, it's all about this holistic idea again. Um, microcosm and macrocosm, everything, all these are just examples, you know, of the way that things work. <laughs> so, hope you guys are following me. Hope you guys are picking up what I'm laying down, okay? And we're going to go ahead and look a little bit closer here at, what, at what's going on. Okay, so yeah, we're stuck in um, getting like some definitely past vibes stuck in some like possibly you know somebody had a third party situation in the past or or possibly just like they have that in their own past um or maybe they you know they did that to somebody else in their past like something something of the sort there is that there is that possibility there um but it's this awakening beyond that and that situation whatever it was has really i mean it's been a blockage obviously you know, for the relationship here, okay? Divine Masculine, I think, has, you know, felt really, really bad about this. And it could be just, again, the work thing. Um, it could just be the, the other side of the family and all of the above and the distance. And, um, you know, it's just like, there's, I, I just want you to know, like, it's it's there and maybe this the sadness is kind of like the uh, explanation for Kind of the lack of communication you know and again that's okay especially while we're doing all this clearing and, and clearing stuff out having these new beginnings with the ace of mirrors here this new i mean this is a new whole new relationship that we you know are using the past to grow to completely start over okay and we understand how much how rich the relationship is because it's deep it's deep there's so many aspects to it and there's so many ways that it helps you and again the introspection side of it is is so important and the feelings you know all of it we don't need to talk about them all day but we do need to acknowledge them and feel them you know and then move on it helps us to once we process our emotions in that way, and again, there's no secret to it. You just allow yourself to feel, you know, this is maybe something divine masculine can work on or divine side of ourselves, again, divine feminine can work on, but you allow yourself to feel it, you know, for a certain period of time, whatever you think is appropriate, or maybe even cut it down to less than what you may think 
and and just go with it and um, let it out and then you're going to be able to you know go and focus on do something else completely and then that's when you know you have really kind of a control over yourself and 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 you step up into this manifestor lead um, or role you know where you're able to stop things you know from happening in a very subtle way in a very peaceful way in a very calm cool collected you know type of a way to where it's like you may be uh like in the distance but you can still like it's it's power in a way why is this coming through like that that's very interesting okay so there's you know there may have been some power struggles okay there may have been some like this lack of you know lack of trust just like a real lack of being able to let anybody in okay just like if anybody gets close you know brush them off like divine masculine might have really just that was a defense mechanism for them basically okay and that's what's been blocking you know this relationship maybe for a long time okay but it's it's again that's what it is you know it's just this defense mechanism and it's not divine masculine's higher self okay so that's why the richness of this this love and this relationship is really being shown here through divine masculine's thoughts like where he can't get his head off something can't get his mind off something and um, the feelings as well because this is obviously a combination here of the feelings okay and again this is coming through as like a family kind of thing too where it's the group just isn't able to come together properly and so it sucks <laughs> Let's just, let's just put it that way. So, so, so we have a lot of blockages here, okay? Um, the new beginning in itself, you know, the nature, the scope of everything that's going on and kind of even Mother Nature is obviously blocking us as well. Um, but there's, there's many, you know, there's many factors here. So let's look at it a little bit closer at what we can do. What's going to bring us into union? reversals here let's start over here so i need a sip guys where's my drink oh my goodness okay so staying inspired okay inspired and connected to you know our higher self our deeper self uh, both out inner inner and outer 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 the inner inner <laughs> The physical, the inner physical, the outer physical, all of these things. There's so many layers to us right now. There's so many layers that are, that we're able to kind of shift. I feel like people are maybe able to kind of compartmentalize their life right now. Like, okay, now I'm going to go do this. You know, now I'm going to go do this. And again, just kind of keeping um, things moving, you know, in different areas of your life, you know, to help. Just how can I help here? How can I help here? Um, being that sturdy rock, you know, for, for people, for somebody, you know, and even if it's just for yourself and your cat or whatever, you know, like that's, that's something. Okay. So again, it, we have to remember, you know, the, the things that we've learned and that we have to remember to stay gentle, I think at all, at all times and be gentle with ourselves. The more gentle we are, you know, with ourselves, and, and non-judgmental, you know, we are to ourselves, you know, the better everybody, everything's going to be, you know, for, for ourselves. Like it's again, kind of like you judge others, you get that back, you know, how you see life is what you will get. It's like, you're off in this magical world, you know, and it's your own, it is of your own making. So, but, but it's also like you need to be able to share that, you know, spread that. We're, we're trying to spread this love, you know, to the whole, to the whole world. <laughs> so we need your help. Okay. 
we have a mission okay we have a mission this is about this is about it's about freedom but it's also about choosing and making the right choices and having a mission horses are always you know associated with you know going to war or the night and it's 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 about having that purpose and that drive okay this is the solution and you may think well what is you know having this drive what to just to, to help the world like what does this have to do with anything with my twin flame well you becoming your own person it's like you basically blossoming in a way um here you know emotionally don't think that it's not going to affect everything your whole vibe your whole look um everything like the more healing and peace and kindness that we have in our lives right now the the better uh, we're going to get back. It's like karma. You know, you're nice. You're nice to the animals and you don't eat them. Then, you know, you're going to get powers basically here. <laughs> okay. That is a metaphor, but again, take it as it resonates. You guys know I'm heavy, thick, thick on the mother, uh, mother, mother metaphors, right? Okay. But this is beautiful. Um, because you know, this still is a divine masculine reading. So for, both sides i think to be able to come into this this beauty and this this share you know it's rising we're all helping each other collectively to rise right now and those who are doing good need to really just focus on those who are doing good and anything else needs to just not be paid attention to because remember what we focus on flourishes okay so remember that, you know, as you go to do, you know, what am I going to do next? Do I really want to do that? Do Is that really a good idea? Does my higher self really want me to do that right now? It's asking yourself these questions, just little conscious little bits, you know, you can raise your, your vibration, you know, a lot just by having little reminders and things like that, you know, sometimes. So again, it's kind of pay attention to the omens the omens and nature and everything is like it's like avatar you know like nature and everything is conspiring to work with you it's in this divine order that we have okay it's beautiful look at these colors it's amazing we're moving forward into you know some energy uh going into june here i'm just getting a sense of you know this more summer you know vibrant um, really able to explore more of the depths of your own self and again your imagination what you're creating what you're allowing yourself to feel remember this you do not have to partake in anything that makes you feel bad in any way shape or form do not participate if it's an argument stop walk away and go do something better i guarantee you there's something better the only reason we get sucked into that stuff is because we have you know these bits of us these little bits you know again this stuff that gets stuck inside of us and our energy stuck to our energy and that's why we clear it away with again the inner the, mainly the shadow work here also some inner child healing too okay but we want to definitely start out for this reading divine masculine this is all about the law of attraction, okay? And again, you decide. You decide what you allow, okay? You, I think, really divine masculine is, in a way here, putting on some, some pulling them up by the bootstraps, putting on some big boy boots or something like that, like to be able to complete something or to, gr to really make a, a, a push on the growth here and the understanding and, 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 and maturity level it really is just coming across like that and again it's what you focus on okay so if you you know we want divine masculine of course always wants to be real logical you know and do the right thing and do you know get the money you know and do the do what's good for the household you know four stable walls you know sort of thing make sure everybody can sleep at night, you know, is asleep at night before you turn off the lights. It's like that kind of energy, that fatherly energy is really coming through in this reading, even though it's all, even though it's all women. Okay. But again, um, yeah, there's, fa there's a big family pull, you know, here. And again, I think there's a little bit of this energy, like, you know, 
too bad something you know but now we really are thinking about moving forward and again what makes us us you know who we really are and what we really love about our person what divine masculine truly loves you know about his about his angel about his queen you know what i mean or her you know whatever how, however you want to say it but at the end of the day you know they come together here so that's kind of the way the story is going here okay again there's a divine order so don't worry don't worry yourself sick about things right now don't worry if there's not you know a lack of communication or if if, if, if things aren't just exactly like you want them to be because again it's about kind of this underlying current underlying purpose that's just taking us somewhere where we need it you know we just need to go we need to go okay using you know being smart being smart about things but and it's like love again kind of that leveling up energy you know by fulfilling your purpose by opening up to your own self you know about what your purpose might be on a on a completely different level maybe than they that divine masculine has ever thought starting to maybe you know again dream dream a different dream hum a different tune sing a different song sort of thing okay and especially you know in regards to the relationship and to how what they believe about you know again like the union and it's kind of like yeah right now again that belief has been built back up and it's or it's building again kind of this whole process it's like it's getting back up so you know we can expect to probably see you know a little bit more communication a little bit more beauty and magic and love you know especially if we focus on it okay it's about what we're creating right now it's about what we're allowing ourselves to participate in do not allow yourself to do the blame game or anything oh well they're making me do or this is this situation is making me do no you have the power you have the control okay and you can move forward at any any given time you really can any given time you just got to keep on pushing and again the shadow work is the number one thing that goes with the law of attraction you know, you do these things at the same time. You start to change these behaviors, change these patterns of behavior. Check out the Twin Flame Socks playlist as well. Check it all out, you guys. It's going to help you get into union and more importantly, stay in union, okay? So that's all for now. Take care. Much love. Many blessings. Hope you guys are doing real, real well. Find me all over social media. Clarryberry links are down at clarryberry.com. Um, all the prices and everything are in the description box below. Check out how you can get the personal readings and the package and the programs and all that good stuff. So yeah, take care. I will see you guys so soon. Thanks. Bye.